Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a really quick, cool way to add dynamic lighting to your um, to your artwork. So here I have a flat image, and I made this triangle going across just so it looks like it's he's in like a a, a beam of light, like a path of light. And one really cool thing you can do if you have a light part on your canvas, you can go to adjustments and bloom and it will give it a nice glow the lightest part of whatever your drawing is so this is just like a it wasn't white but it was like lighter than everything else so that's what's uh, the bloom is picking up and bloom is actually really cool we're gonna use bloom for more lighting effects so I'm gonna make another layer above our frog here so we just have an empty layer and I'm gonna use white and I'm going to use Sketch Master 1. And I'm going to make some light on him. So the light's coming this way. We have the shadow here. So all the light would hit all the surfaces on his, uh, on his right side, our left side. I think that's right. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm just going to sort of make this a little smaller. I'm just going to go along all these little edges. Any part that would be on his, on the left side. So this part of his arm, his leg. Maybe this part of his thumb too. Maybe this part of his other arm, the back of his leg. And maybe here would get a little bit this there we go and maybe this side of his nose too so I put some white to make it look like the light is hitting him on that side and we'll do the same thing on this layer we'll just go to bloom so I'll just go to adjustments bloom and there we go And you can change, you can mess with the burn here. You know, the the uh, you know the size of it and everything like that. You can kind of experiment with that, but I don't want to go too crazy. I think that's pretty good. So now it looks like he has a nice glow coming from uh, whatever this, this light source is. And things like this are really fun. It really makes your character more dynamic. It kind of places them in the scene. Um, so do some experimenting with different different colors. Maybe you can do this with like yellows or really uh, other light colors. Uh, just experiment and play around with bloom. I think it's really fun. Um, I love this little strawberry frog, and uh, I just wanted to kind of mess around with his uh, his environment and just make it a little more a little more dynamic than what it was. But uh, yeah, keep drawing, keep sketching. Wait, what's my tagline? I always forget it. Keep drawing, and I will see you all in the next video. I think I'm going to go live. I don't know if I'm going to draw or do Nomad Sculpt, but we'll see. See you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave, and don't forget to join my private Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. Check me out on Facebook. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. And as always, keep drawing, and I'll see you in the next video.